So when we have a technician on a job site, they're going to go out there and they're going to need to sample the soils on site and they're going to bring them back to our laboratory. Uh, certain tests that we run are temperature sensitive, so we're not allowed to just throw them in an oven, such as your proctor or your plasticity index, your PI. Uh, we're only able to dry those back at certain temperatures, so sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get it to a point that we're able to work with it. Um, we'll bring it back here to the laboratory, typically in a bucket, and we're going to spread it out on a tarp. At this point, we don't have any weights or anything, so it's not so important to retain every portion of the material, but we're going to want to retain as much as it is as we possibly can. We're going to spread it out, and then we're going to put a fan on it, and get that dried back so that it's a little bit more friable and workable for some of the tests that we need to perform with it. Once our material has dried back, we're gonna process a little bit for this test, uh, for the test that we're gonna be performing today. We're gonna process it for a sieve, a 698A, which is your proctor, and the 4318, which is your plasticity index. We'll take our sample. For most of these tests that we're performing, we're going to separate our coarse aggregate, our rock, from the finer aggregates. And we're gonna break it over this number four, get all the finer particles off of the coarser particles. Now that we've manipulated this, removed the finer particles from the coarser particles, we're gonna go ahead and get a weight on our, our rock and we're gonna get our weight on our fine fraction to tell us our total weight. And we'll take this material and we're gonna sieve it. It's a gradation. We're gonna sieve it for its particle size um, and that'll help our engineers to be able to classify what kind of soils this is and how much of what type of soils are in this material.